call upon Odin, god of the wind, god of death and the dead. I call upon thee who is the son of Bestia, who has the brothers Vili and Vey to come be present today. I call upon Suna, goddess of the sun, that brings forth light and growth and warmth. Daughter of Mand Dufari, sister of Mani. We welcome you this day. I welcome you this day, Mani, god of the moon, that brings forth light at night to gather our senses and our spirituality who brings forth our emotions. Brother of Soon, I welcome you this day, Yod, mother of Thor, who brings stability for our feet to walk upon and sustenance for us to eat of. How this day to you all and welcome. How to the four dwarfs, Nordri, Ostri, Sudri, and Vestri, who at the cardinal points hold the dome of the above of the gods made out of the skull of Ymir. We thank you this day this new day that has come to be. So says Austri, as the day starts, we ask your blessing and we bring forth an offering. Hail. Sudri, we bring an offering of sage this day. Hail. Vestri, we bring an offering this day of sage. Cleanse the emotions of life. Nordri, we bring an offering this day. Incense that comes from the earth. We bid thee welcome in our lives. Stages of the human, we give you thanks for our memory, for our thoughts, for our lives, for our existence as a human brought by the gods. We thank you for our love and our heart and our existence our mere bones and structure, our filia, and all that comes with growth of the spirit, parts of our existence that is not always acknowledged by all. We give you thanks, Odin, giver of life, giver of the breath, giver of our spiritual nature. We thank you this day and from our lungs, from our breath, we will call you this day. I bring the 
light of life to me this day from you the gods of life though we existed long before you came to us and turned us into a gift of life well appreciated for we were just here unconscious of our plights you have brought us a life to be lived and because of this I honour you today I honour myself also through you for we love you and you love us and so today I offer my services to you I offer all I have to give Sage I bless my mouth that only the words of good shall come forth and be honourable I say to my eyes that all I see will be honourable to you sight and words and heart I offer to you this day that all the plant lives will be blessed that all the animal kingdom shall be also blessed that all that is touched and felt shall be but sacred that I shall walk the path of the wise with wisdom in my soul in my being in my thoughts in my words in my deeds and so I bid thee how now hail and farewell and thank you for being here to acknowledge what I have to say I work with you and for you and for myself and I ask your blessing this day hi guys Tuva here what you have just seen is basically a cleansing ritual and if you noticed in the ritual I was talking about how we were in existence before Odin came and decided to impart gifts upon us that's the only way I can put it first two were called Asker and Embla and that's because they were ash and elm and so we were actually wood we were from the trees but we were two logs the gods came and they gave us the honor of just being we weren't anything really we weren't really conscious and so he gave us breath of life the spirit okay guys so we're going to do the parts of the self there's a lot more to it than meets the eye getting to know these different parts of who we are is very important for us to progress on our spiritual lives the three gods when they first saw us decided to give us a different outlook a gift and not just becoming but aware conscious and able to make decisions for ourselves and to live a life Odin gave us the breath the spirit he breathed that into us and brought us into existence in a more conscious state we also had Honia who gave us movement and understanding and then we had Loda who gave us emotions and senses so you can see the gifts that were given to us Huga who is the raven Hugin and that gave us the freedom to think for ourselves and so when we look at the ravens we can see that Hugin was a free thinker not bound to Odin but could do his own thing thinking for himself and that's what was given to us Nini who was also the raven Mernin that was all about memory to travel so we can see how much was given to us and we didn't ask for it they decided that we were worth it we come across the filia now there's speculation that, that not just animal form but can come in the opposite sex in a person 
also can be something that comes and goes even though it's with you all your life so the philia has a lot of areas to it a lot of understanding and different people experience different things with it but also it can come from your ancestral dna something that comes with heritage so we can often look back and see that maybe the same philia passed from one to another because if you die normally it will die too but there have been situations where it's been passed to others but the drug the spirit inhabits your body once you're dead but it's there even though you don't know it and it retains your memories it retains your knowledge so we have instances where in the Eddas, Asir is brought back to speak her memories, to speak her knowledge. And so we can see, and it often moves as well, if it wants to leave the body and go elsewhere. So you could consider it a little bit like a ghost as such, but with all your personality and your memories and your knowledge. The Hamir, and that is basically where we get shape-shifting from some practitioners of magic, of Seda, of all sorts of stuff to do with the Nordic traditions have the ability, because of what they've done to accept who they are, are able to shapeshift and it can be in many different ways. A mental shapeshift, it can be a physical shapeshift, no, not many have been able to attain that, but those that have have done it very well but those normal shape shifting can come from path workings and reaching the different realms so again we can take the form of our philia we can take the form of who we are within who we feel we are and that is the hamir ode connected to the god ode and freya his wife also means the cup of life the cauldron in the traditional witchcraft we would call that the cup of the wine of life the cauldron the essence of life but it's an intoxicating liquid so hence mead or wine but mead in the nordic style of things we use the intoxication of these liquids to aid us because it will bring you ecstasy and expanding your consciousness to attain what the gods want for us. They gave it to us to use, and so we should be more resilient to opening up to these things, to move forwards in our practice. We have the Haminya, and that can be passed from person to person. It's normally about good fortune that the person has done so well in life that they've brought forth what they need and so when they die it can actually go into as a child is being born can retain itself into that child and hopefully bring through the same things that was brought through to the person it was in before and again this is why a lot of the children were renamed from ancestors so if the grandfather died Hopefully the Haminya will go in to the new child, the new maybe grandson, and he would retain the name of his grandfather. And the Megan. The Megan is the power, the magical power within the essence that's been given to us via the gods. And so we can give some of our power to the gods in offerings and they will give us some of their power back and it's a two-way communication something that we can really respect and honor the gods with because without them we would never have had it in the first place but it's an offering that you can give and give wisely your inner power your magical power your essence the supernatural side of life of you something that you can do in your rituals i wanted to get across very basically what these things are 
and how it differs from maybe Christianity and other religions because they see it at when the person dies the soul moves on they don't see it that there's different parts to the person but we have many parts when you do these rituals they're not empty they're full of your inner power and all the parts that make you up and so think about what it is you can do research on it learn about it and then you will understand what makes you who you are okay guys well i picked two runes earlier and the first one was air was there was, and that is momentum in time. What you can do with that is to look at what you've achieved over the last few months. Maybe you've worked really hard in a project or something that you're doing spiritually. Maybe you're trying to aid yourself and get further in what you're doing. Maybe you are doing something like writing a book or a YouTube channel or a blog, whatever it is. You've been working hard at it. Even if it's just trying to get yourself more spiritually inclined, you've got to the point, I feel, that you feel you've slowed down. That is not what it's saying. It's saying that it will speed up. You're at a time where that momentum is like a horse with its speed and its beauty, but it's not proud. Even though a horse looks proud, it's very humble and that's where you need to be. You've got that support network around you even though you don't realise it. And I think it's trying to tell you that you have to honour that, you have to realise where you got your help from or those that have aided you in some way. Always be humble and re remember those that have got you where you are. Also, I do feel it's saying, don't give up. Please do not give up those might be feeling that they've stagnated it's not it's not a plateau or stagnation it's a fact that you've accumulated so much that you feel that you won't be going any further at the moment but you will and that puts me into the next one which is the blank stone which is odin's rune which is marvelous because we had him come in the ritual so we can thank him for that and I feel what he's saying to you is every day you live is magical, is special, is there for you. No one else knows your life, no one else knows who you are inside. You are the only one that knows that and what he's saying to you is make use of that. Don't let it fly by in that momentum, don't let everything just disappear till you get old and then die. Use it, live your life, but do it your spiritual way, using everything that you have got, everything that you have learnt, but use it in joy, you, you use it in that joyful aspect, you use it to aid others, to aid yourself, but also to progress. The more that you use it, the more you will progress. So don't give up, he's telling you. Do not give up and because Odin is very fleeting. He'll give you a basic message and that feeling of power. So you need to acknowledge your power, your inner power. It is part of you. And there I'm gonna leave it guys. I hope that's helped you a little bit. And I'm going to say to you, my new subscribers thank you so much i really do appreciate it it does help the channel and it will help these videos to get out to other people so thank you i also want to thank those that are always here supporting me and the channel you don't know how much that means to me so thank you so much and i will be back again soon i know i'm not doing as many videos guys but everything has changed in the last few weeks and I just cannot keep that schedule going. So I'm afraid at the moment, it's probably going to be one a week, but you will get that regular. I hope you're all well. Love you guys. I'm gonna leave it and say, wherever you are, whatever time of day, night or evening it may be, I wish you the best ever, House of Elaine.